Here's a quick example of moment of inertia. This should kind of help you uh, solidify how to do this in a routine manner. So typically you need to know two things. One is the parallel axis theorem given here and then the particular equation for the shape that you're using and its moment of inertia around the neutral axis. That'll typically be given in a table in your book. The one you should be very familiar with is the rectangle and that's 1 12th base times height cubed. So let's look at this problem right here and keep these two equations in mind. A beam is constructed from three boards bolted together. Determine the moment of inertia of the body. So in order to do that, we need to find y bar, not squiggle, y bar, or the neutral axis. So where is y bar located? And then we need to use the parallel axis theorem to find the moment of inertia of the total body. So I decided to find my y bar by starting from the top and I separated it into three bodies two of them are the same here as you can see and then that's y squiggle of each body so I use this um, table that we always use you should be pretty good at this by now I found all the areas y squiggles y squiggle times a and in the end I got y bar to be 186.8 millimeters from the top so it's located somewhere um, along this line now, the next thing we need to do once we've found y bar is the, use the parallel axis theorem. So here's my start from the top. This red line is my neutral axis, which is we just found 186.8 millimeters from the top. And then these dots represent the y squiggle or the center of every single body on its own. So let's start this off. I equals the moment of inertia about the center, central axis so or the neutral axis so this right here represents this i bar plus ad squared and ad squared is all of this jazz right here so the reason we have a 2 here is because this body and this body are identical so i just multiplied them by 2 and then we have the 1 12th which comes from here times this which is the base 25 millimeters. This is in meters, that's why it's 0 0.025. Times the height cubed, which is 250 millimeters cubed or 0.25 meters cubed. And now this section comes from this equation right here. The, um, the moment of inertia about the neutral axis of the body on its own. And then we move on to this part, which is the AD squared. So we have the 2 once again because I'm doing this body and this body at the same time because they're identical. This gives us the area of that body, so right here. And then this part right here gives us the D squared. Now what does this represent? This represents Y bar minus Y squiggle. So it's the distance basically from the neutral axis to the center of the body independently. So it's this distance right here which is 186.8 minus half of this full length. So that's what that looks like. And the same for this one. Now moving on we've solved for these two now we want to solve for the third body. So once again we have 1 12th times the base of this body which is 25 right here times the height cubed which is 350 millimeters cubed plus the area of that body, so 25 times 350, times d squared. And one, once again, um, d squared is y bar minus y squiggle. So we have um, this distance right here. Now it doesn't matter, they did 0.275 minus this either way once you square square it you're going to get a positive number so it doesn't matter if you do 0.18 minus this you'll still get the same answer so I hope that makes sense and then in the end once you add all of these together you get this in terms of you could get it in millimeters or meters but it's going to be meters to the fourth so that is our final answer for the moment of inertia of this body.